Bro. Bro. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But something must have happened. There must have been a ritual, sacrifice, some shit. Because the fighting game gods seem to be blessing us back to back. I just reacted to the new Project L gameplay or update uh, video yesterday. And now today, we're getting blessed with some more fighting game updates. I think it was what, a year ago? Arc System Works showed off that they were doing a Dungeon Fighters fighting game. And you know, the Arc System Works style, you know that anime 2.5D-ish style. And now we get into some more after them being completely silent. Man, oh man. And look, I'm not gonna sit here and cap and pretend like I played for Dungeon Fighters, I grew up on that shit, cause I didn't, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was a Nexon fanboy. I grew up playing all the Nexon games, Maple Story, Guns, fucking, what else? Dragon Nest, I grew up playing that shit. And every time I seen Dungeon Fighters, I would throw up in my mouth a little bit cause that shit looked nasty, all right? But, I don't wanna be a hater, okay? I had a lot of friends that loved that shit, dude. Tried to put me on all the time. I just. It just wasn't my cup of tea. I was more into that, you know, fun, fun loving style or a sh my shooting style with the guns, you know what I'm saying? But this game looks sick, bro. It looks great. And after coming off the heels of Guilty Gear Strive, dude, oh my goodness, dude. Let me tell you, I am excited for this shit. Do you hear me? I'm excited for this shit. And you should be too, because this shit looks great. Absolutely great. Now, without further ado, let's get into this shit. This video is short. So it's not gonna be a long video, but hopefully they pack enough shit in here to get me re-excited for this game. Cause dude, when they showed it off a year ago, oh my goodness. But let's get into it. Big Nexon. Sheesh. Oh my goodness, this looks like Guilty Gear. No fucking way. They got a fucking projectile character? DNF duel, who's next? Me, I'm next, I'm next. Oh my God, that chest looks so beautiful. We gotta go back through that shit. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. We gotta go back through that. I believe this character is like a fucking like demon knight, big, big berserker character. This is like a monk with the big fist, whooping the shit out of this karate black red belt looking motherfucker. Oh my God, big grappler. I'm excited for that. You know, it's funny. It's funny, so Arc System Works, they just showed off the, the third DLC character for Guilty Gear Strive. And it's a character named Happy Chaos and he uses a gun and, a, and it looks like it's gonna be like a weird mechanics or whatnot. So I'm interested to see what kind of like unique weird mechanics this character has. But this character seems like he shoots his gun a lot faster than the Guilty Gear character. So it might be like, it might just be like, oh, his normal moves, his normals are just, him shooting the gun, it's not like anything too crazy. Kind of like Aaron Black, like in Mortal Kombat, Aaron Black has specials, special commands, where he will pull out his gun, but then he would also have strings that would lead in him shooting his gun and it being long range. So it could be similar to that, which is dope. I fucking hated that character, Aaron Black, but goddamn, he was, I could tell pe people who played him, I was having a lot of fun playing him. So th this could be dope. I'm definitely excited for this character. I'm gonna be trying this character out. That looked like, was that a counter? Big demon. That kind of looked like, that kind of looked like a, an insta-kill move. Like, so I know like games like uh, Persona 4 and the old Guilty Gear, not the, not Guilty Gear Strive, but uh, the old older Guilty Gear games, they have like, uh, like a thing where you can install like a, a, a counter or whatever, like, and not by counter, like counter attack, more like a timer, like, like you have this many seconds to do it. And then during that time, you can activate a move and if it hits, it's an instant kill. 
that kind of looked like that, right? It, it kind of looked like just, just how it ends, right? You know what I'm saying? That kind of looks like that, but maybe it's just a super. That's absolutely possible. One of the things, so in Guilty Gear Strive, there's uh, Roman Cancels, which is a universal mechanic where you can spend meter to basically uh, alter the, the timing hit stun um, and like and like state of your opponent character, for example, right? If you throw out a, a heavy attack and it misses, you can, and you know you can get punished on it, you can Roman Cancel to make yourself more safe so you can block from it or, or do another move to keep the string going or you know you know stuff like that but they kind of have this this they th there seems to be this mechanic this like cancel mechanic right and i'm pretty sure like dungeon fighters has this mechanic because the whole point of dungeon fighters was it it was like a side scroller but had like uh like combos kind of like you know like like uh i don't know what the fuck like the old teenage mutant ninja turtles games or battle toads or i don't know what's uh, the the popular beat em up side scrollers how they like kind of introduced that that style of combos into fighting games. Uh, but you can kind of see it's like the yellow flash that happens when they're doing a move and then they cancel to another move, you'll see it. Right there, you saw that? Right there, that move, that shit. I don't know what that is. It's probably like something similar to the, to the Roman cancel mechanic, but man, oh man, it looks fun. It looks quick though. So this game might be like, Kind of an execution game or maybe they could like follow the the philosophy of like guilty gear and like m m most of the newer games where they're trying to make shit more easy and simple um but it looks dope nonetheless that look cool too that little like red flash i don't know what that is this looks like a fucking like a potemkin buster-esque command grab See that? So it looked like he went into like a grab or a command grab there off of flashing. Man, this game looks dope. Apparently, this is the trailer reveal. I, you know, now that I think about it, the thing, the little thing that they showed off a year ago was kind of like a teaser. It wasn't like, but they showed off gameplay in that teaser. So I guess this is the official reveal though of the game. But no, uh, no release date, obviously. Um, I wonder if, uh, they have any, like, supplementary things to go along with this, like, maybe people talking about it, but if you notice some of the companies down here, right, we obviously have Nexon, right, um, they made Dungeon Fighters, you know, they own the IP, we have Arc System, the publisher or whatnot, now, this is interesting, because I know a lot of people talked about this, including, like, Max, Maximilian, he talked about this, aiding is, like, uh, apparently they've worked on Marvel games in the past, right, I don't think Marvel Infinite, but, like Marvel 3 I think so they have like they have a history of uh they have a history they have a uh, uh, work to show for you know themselves so it looks like uh this game is like with good developers I don't really know anything about Neopal uh they make wonders apparently but I'm wondering what the fuck they made nah I'm joking but uh I, I don't really know much about it but this this right here I'm getting excited for this because a lot of people are big upping this company, so this shit is sauce. I'm not gonna lie to you. We finna, we finna get into this. Female priest. All right, so that's her there. It looks like, judging by the armor, it's gonna be the Inquisitor version. Now, again, I mentioned this in my previous video. I don't know if they're gonna have different types, but that would be the First Awakening version, as you can see there. Damn, so that's crazy. Shout out to uh, TK Mellow Link. Uh, cause I didn't know this cause I didn't play this game. Um, but it seems like the characters in Dungeon Fighters have, uh, they have awakenings. They have like more advanced versions of themselves, which is obvious like that. That was in MapleStory 2 and, and Dragon S, you know, you can, that's in most MMOs. You can progress through your job class or your, your class and get to more advanced versions. So maybe, uh, maybe there's potential that, uh, it could be, um, some installs, you know, maybe. That would that would definitely be dope, you know. I'm I'm a big fan of install characters, you know, characters like uh I don't know Gohan and Broly from Dragon Ball, where they can install with their supers uh, and make a, make themselves more powerful, um, which is dope, you know. That's uh that's more mechanics to, that can be added. I don't I don't think Guilty Gear has any install. Well, that's not true. Uh, Kai uh, in Guilty Gear Strive has the dragon install. 
which changes the properties of his moves. Uh, and I think Saul had a dragon install in the previous games too, which is dope. But uh, yeah, they did that. It looks really dope when they do it. So uh, hopefully they they do it this game because that would be that would be definitely exciting. Yeah, overall this game looks uh this this game it, it didn't really show me much more new, but it did show me more of what we got before. So uh you know I feel like the hype is still there for this game. You know Arc System works is a trusted company they they made a lot of great shit they they did a good job with guilty gear and they did a really good job with dragon ball fighters so hopefully they can continue this and i'm gonna be excited for this shit um and you should too definitely gonna try and play this game in the future uh my friend who i play a lot of fighting games with is a big is big on dungeon fighters so uh you definitely be seeing us play so uh with that if you like the video uh leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't already uh, trying to trying to grow this channel, baby. You know, we're small right now, but we'll be big in the future. Um, share the video. It really helps us grow. Um, and yeah, comment some shit, you know, tell me, tell me if you like this game or not. Peace.